The pressure campaign to get state legislators to go along with the scheme intensified when President Trump invited delegations from Michigan and Pennsylvania to the White House. Uh, either you or Speaker Chatfield, did you make the point to the president that you were not going to do anything that violated Michigan law? I believe we did. Uh, whether or not it was the, those exact words or not, but we're, I think that the words that, that uh, I would have more likely used is we were going to follow the law. Nevertheless, the pressure continued. The next day, President Trump tweeted, quote, hopefully the courts and or legislatures will have the courage to do what has to be done to maintain the integrity of our elections and the United States of America itself. The world is watching. He posted multiple messages on Facebook listing the contact information for state officials and urging his supporters to contact them to, quote, demand a vote on decertification. In one of those posts, President Trump disclosed Mike Shirky's personal phone number to his millions of followers. All I remember is receiving over just shy of 4,000 text messages over a short period of time calling to take action. It was a loud noise, loud, consistent cadence. So, you know, we hear that the, that, uh, the uh, Trump uh, folks are calling and asking for changes in the electors, and you guys can do this. Well, you know, they were, they were believing things that were untrue.